My name is Joel Darmstadter. Uh, I was asked to make a presentation at this year's Smithsonian Folklife Festival uh, that looks back on some of the experiences that uh, I had uh, as a member of what has come to be called the Kinder Transport, uh, an effort in 1938-1939 to allow 10,000 unaccompanied children to, uh, to be allowed entry into Great Britain as a result of the threat that they were, for, uh, that they were facing had they remained behind uh, in Europe uh, under circumstances of uh, anti-Semitism and uh, the threat to the Jewish people in uh, Germany and uh, Austria particularly. It was hard not to have some a sense of the conditions that precipitated this very abrupt uh, uh, move away from my home because I had experienced uh, as recently as November uh, 9th and 10th what has come to be called Kristallnacht and that was uh, basically that translates into the night of shattered glass and the shattered glass refers to chandeliers and glass windows uh, that were uh, associated with the torching and uh, destruction of most of the synagogues, Jewish places of worship in Germany. So our home was broken into, my father was arrested and sent to one or another concentration camp. I think the largest of these was in a place called Dachau concentration camp outside of Munich in Germany. When it came time for my brother and myself to join the Kinder Transport, which had just been established, that was about the same time that my father, after three or four months in this concentration camp, along with these other thousands of men, not all who made it, some were older, some died, some were abused, but was released. My parents, almost concurrent with my brother and my uh, arrival in England, were able themselves to leave Germany uh, and gain admission, admittance to the Netherlands uh, as uh, temporary residents. So, and we were able to exchange mail with one another uh, after their arrival there and my arrival uh, in England and the welcome that my brother and I received by what was to be my host family in uh, Manchester, England, that sticks with me, you know, very vividly, memorably. Uh, and it was a very positive uh, experience. We established report with one another, my brother and I on the one hand, and the family, and were made to feel very warm, nurturing, welcome, part of the family. The daughter of our uh, foster parents, the brother, me, the resident dog, disagreeable dog, uh, a Pomeranian. This is the school I went to. This is the class picture. That's me. So it was not until early in 1940, well after the beginning of the war between England and Germany, and shortly before Holland itself was invaded by the Germans, that the, uh, the much coveted visa came through and we were able, as a family, uh, my brother and I from England, my parents from Holland, to come together as a unit to the United States. But it was particularly hard for my father. He did not share easily many details of, uh, you know, the, the concentration camp experience, his feelings. He was a very private, austere person. I wish one had a formula for ensuring that we should thrive on cultural differences and sociological differences and, and work them to our advantage and positive relationships rather than towards our enmity with one another.